we learn the, the process of how we're thinking over time, right? We learn that what, what's going on with us is ultimately it puts us in a place where we don't feel safe and we're afraid we're going to be alone. And if we're alone, we're going to die like that, Mm -hmm. that whole Mm -hmm. thing, you know, the, the cunning, baffling and powerful part of the disease of alcoholism, Mm -hmm. the brain that is evolved to keep me alive with a mind that wants to kill me will try to convince me at time to time that everybody is against me. Right. And people pleasing is a perfect place for me to start that victim mindset. Like Mm -hmm. perfect. You know, mm-hmm. and, and, you know, <clears throat> me, me like not being pleased is just as dangerous a place as me pleasing. Right. But I have to get to a place where I can trust the world around me through my own actions. Like if I can trust me to do the right thing, then I can trust that you as well will try to do the right thing. Sure. Sure. You know, mm-hmm. and that's the hope, right? That's mm-hmm. the hope is that we'll get to a place where our world becomes our universe becomes a healthy, happy environment, right? It's no longer a dangerous universe. It's a, it's a, it's a friendly universe, Mm -hmm. right? And, and so we attract people into our lives and we always make the next step. Like we're the dictator, like, like we're the director of the action in order to take. So if I find myself in a place where I'm pleasing people to a negative point, then I need to do the work to find myself to be able to talk to somebody else about it. And, and unfortunately, sometimes people are going to be gone. You know, right. As yeah. We, <clears throat> as we weed the garden of our life and, and, and move down this path of health and wellness, some people aren't going to be ready for that. Yeah. Right. And, and like, I don't have the right to kill myself because you don't want to get well mm. anymore. Not anymore. Right. There was a place where I could do that at one time, but it's not there anymore. Like now I've decided that I want a relationship with me. I want an honest relationship. I want a loving relationship with myself. And so I have to do the work to get to that place. And that means getting uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, and, and, you know, the other thing that it means that, that I think you're alluding to, or at least, you know, it definitely ties into what you're saying is it it means healthy boundaries. Yeah. It means loving distance, you know, like if boundaries, if I have somebody that is, is asking me to do things that I know to be detrimental and that they should know too, you know, are detrimental to my health and my overall sense of well being then that person's, you know, I've got to love them from a distance. Mm -hmm. I've got to set up some healthy boundaries that, you know, will ensure that, that they're not going to put me in a position where I'm jeopardizing me, Mm -hmm. you know? And so like, whatever that looks like, whether it means I I, I can't talk to you anymore, we can't interact in this certain way, or there's, you know, certain things that we, we, we can't do together. Like that's just how it has to be for me, Mm -hmm. for myself, like, or I'm likely to do something that will, you know, lead me down a path where, you know, I could, I could drink. Right. And, and, and I no longer want that in my life today. You right. Know? 